Hello everyone, in this quick video, I'm just going to go and create a, an Azure account, uh, which is something you probably need if you are studying for the exam. You would definitely like to uh, practice and do some stuff yourself, to do some labs, and be comfortable with the Azure environment, deployment, VNets, you know, different kind of configurations, app services. So everything starts with the uh, Azure free account. So you can go to portal.azure.com and uh, from here you just say that uh, no account, create one and you will start over there. So create one and then go through the account creation process. Now um, what's going to happen it's it's in the process it will create your your email or you can use an existing email if you like uh, and then you will have to provide your credit card information for verification purpose only okay as you will not charge you until you specifically upgrade your account okay uh, what I have, I have an Azure free pass and for the free pass the process is slightly different so you have to go to a website uh, called Microsoft Azure Pass and from there it will bring me to the same place but it will avoid the credit card portion of the registration. So let's start with uh, Microsoft Azure Pass. Let's search for it. Let's see, Microsoft Azure Pass .com. This is where I am going to start. Okay, ready to get started? Try Microsoft Azure Pass. We are offering an Azure Pass, so a limited time period. You can try Azure for free. Okay, so here, as you can see, the no credit card required. So if you have this, you can come over here. You can, as I said, the process is the same. I'm just going to create a new one. And let's say do Azure Labs, okay? Uh, can I use this? Okay, here Outlook.com. Okay, Azure Labs is gonna be my account ID. Uh, I'm gonna use Azure Outlook.com as my preferred prefix, I guess. Uh, uh, looks like that's not available so as your so let's try basu as your so let's see that's available that's also not as you <laughs> available so basu as your labs oh, oh nothing looks like a available so easy easy Basu Let's try Ankan Basu Azure All right, if just nothing isn't available then it's it's weird. Let's let me find what is available then continue the video. Alright, I kept getting errors like nothing is available, so I think that's probably not right. So what I'm gonna try to do next is come just come to the outlook.com and let's see if we can create a free account from here. That that also brings me over here. So new email is a labs 2020 someone has already has this email address try another one here at least it's telling me claim one of these that's available so az labs 20201 outlook.com let's go back what about az labs 2021 wow <laughs> Finally, we have a success. Let's see. Now we got it. 
so I need to remember AZ Labs 2021 is going to be my new Azure account email address okay hope you you are not spending that much time okay I'll put my name and um, date of birth and pause and not show you my date of birth okay now uh, just put your the code that you see it is gonna be different for everyone and look at that finally I have an Azure account but that's not done yet since I have created the account just, just going to the Outlook so now I need to go back and uh, need to use my new account that I just created so now I cannot uh, I need to go back again right so now I don't need to create an account here I just need to use the account that I created so this is the account that I created now I'm gonna say next and uh, now I'm gonna confirm and, and then over here you need to uh, give the promo code that you have received from whoever okay and let's see I don't want to give you the promo code either so I'm gonna pause and go to the next phase okay once you enter the promo code and hit enter it will process your request and don't move away from this page just stay here for for a few minutes until this processing is done and uh, your promo is validated by this process once this is validated you were you're gonna have access to an Azure subscription now over here all right so this is what I have now okay so it says this most likely validated uh, just make sure when you are choosing the country be very sure that you're choosing the right country where you live you cannot change this selection later okay that's very important so make sure you have the right country and uh, provide your phone and let me see if I can go without providing the phone I cannot this field is required so I don't give you the phone again gonna pause okay once you provide the phone and click the next you are in the agreement page so just say that you agree if you don't agree you cannot um, do anything so and just say sign up so now this is confirming uh, your information that thing in a couple minutes you should have now access to a brand new Azure subscription Okay, so let's just wait for for a second um, and look, wait for the magic to happen, and then you will be you'll be having access to an exciting account. Uh, usually, these pass that I get, uh, they give me hundred dollars uh, free pass or yeah, hundred dollars limit, and I can use this pass for about a month. Um, good enough for you know your practice doing your labs uh, things like that uh, when you deploy resources just make sure that if you're not using it for follow-up labs or something just uh, remove them uh, so that you are not incurring cost for things that you are you are not you don't you don't need to okay so you see that it's uh, locks me in to this azure environment now I'll just say okay maybe later you can show me the tools I just want to validate that uh, my subscription is good so I'll just click on subscription and it should bring me to this subscription and look at that it says um, the account admin uh, and if I click on it it usually gives me a little bit details about so this is an active account 
uh, here it's going to give you a billing period but it does not tell you when this account is actually going to expire from this view to do to look at that you can go to this particular link over here uh, check your balance uh, here we haven't even done anything so you should have hundred dollars so let's check how much money I have some accounts even have fifty dollars based on what kind of uh, free pass you have got but let's uh, take a look at it first time we're going to this so here let's see yeah I have hundred dollars okay I have one subscription and it says my offer expiring in 31 days okay so now I have an account uh, and this is my primary account where I have registered uh, this account is going to be active for 31 days and I can use this account to test different things within Azure and uh, play with it learn more about things that I don't know and uh, use it okay all right so let's use it you will not have anything uh, let's go back let me think if there's anything else that uh, so default directory another thing I just wanted to quickly mention so if you click on it now so Azure has already created a default directory for you and that default directory is the is your, your Azure Active Directory okay uh, and uh, all of your subscription and everything is associated with that default directory so if you create new directories uh, you will not have this subscription associated with that okay so if you do create the other directories make sure to come back to this particular default directory to have access to your subscription okay that's all I wanted to present in this video so you have learned how to create your Azure subscription now once you have the channel subscription if you wanna rename this subscription like this subscription I know it's gonna be valid for about a month July so August most likely I can say um, July to August so about 30 days means or 31 days means August 23rd is probably somewhere around that time is because it's gonna be ending so I can add that in here and I'm just gonna say save now if you change the name of your subscription it can take up to 10 minutes or so so I'll just do that and uh, in 10 after 10 minutes I should have uh, my subscription which is renamed to the new one but right, that's all I want to cover in this particular video uh, just have your subscription if you're creating a personal account that's fine then you have more money available to you for the first month I think it's $200 uh, and just use it to your own benefit learn and enjoy good luck